Get ready for a trip down memory lane, folks. Let's talk about the Pingzing Two Irons, the true legends of golf history. These babies hit the scene in 1994, sporting a heavy stainless steel head, a thick top line, and some extra mass on the heel and toe for that sweet heel toastability on off-center hits. They were basically pioneers in the game improvement category, paving the way for future greatness. Now, let's get down to business and see how they stack up against my trusty 6 and Z565 gamers. To settle the score, I sneaked off to my local range for a quick test. But here's the thing, I must confess, this wasn't the most scientifically rigorous test in the world. I didn't hit a gazillion shots and average them out. No, I just hit shots until I found a representative example of a solid hit. Hey, we're keeping it casual and fun here. To add some more spice, I used range balls and hit off a mat. Yeah, I know it's not ideal, but hey, we work with what we've got, right? And let's not forget that my gamers are custom fit, while these twos were the standard black dot. But fear not, we'll dive into that in a moment. First, let's talk about my six iron. It's got a bit of length and is more upright, but the major difference between the old and new irons lies in the loft department. My six iron has a sassy 28 degrees of loft, whereas the Zing tube brings about 32 degrees to the party. Some golfers might think it's a sneaky trick, but it's just modern technology doing its magic. Engineers have figured out how to move that center of gravity further back in the club head, allowing them to lower the loft on each iron while still launching the ball high. Back in the day, if you cranked up the loft on those old clubs, you'd have a hard time getting the ball airborne. Now, let's talk about the Zing 2. With a nearly identical draw, we can spot a few noteworthy differences. The ball speed took a dip of about 8 miles per hour, but the launch increased thanks to that added loft, and the spin decreased slightly. That put me outside the range considered optimal for a 6 iron. All in all, I was about a club and a bit shorter. Pingzing 2, you little devil. For a bit of fun, I decided to test out the Pingzing 2 5 iron, which sits at a loft of 27 degrees, similar to my modern gamer 6 iron. Now, for some unknown reason probably some psychological wizardry, I kept leaving the face slightly open on my Zing 2 5 iron, so I eventually said, hey, let's include it in the test anyway. On a well-struck shot, you can see the ball speed took a dip of about 3 miles per hour, and while the launch remained roughly the same, the spin went through the roof. But to be fair, some of that spin was due to my friendly open club face. When all was said and done, the 5 iron fell short by about a club, or maybe just a smidge less, compared to my current set. Now, let's not forget about all that forgiveness and off-center hit goodness these clubs offer. While I'll be sticking with the wonders of modern technology, I walked away from my little range test happier than ever with my purchase. I was pleasantly surprised to see how these irons, which are pushing 30 years old, held up in the test. It reminded me that starting golf doesn't have to break the bank. With a bit of research, new golfers can put together a fun and affordable set of second-hand clubs that will take them a long way on their golfing journey. Now, as for my trusty Zing 2s, they won't be taking a permanent spot in my bag, but they're definitely staying close by as a spare set. Who knows, maybe the next time someone comes to town looking for a round and a blast from the past. I'll whip out those bad boys and give them a taste of golfing nostalgia. And there you have it, folks. The Pingzing 2 Irons, a true testament to golfing history, put to the test against my modern gamers. It's always fun to see how the classics hold up against the new kids on the block. Remember, golf is about having a good time, enjoying the game, and finding the clubs that make you feel like a superstar on the course. So go out there, swing those clubs with joy and may your golfing adventures be filled with laughter and birdies. Stay tuned for more golfing antics on our channel, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit him straight, my friends.